Hello friends, today we are going to see how to remove duplicate elements from a sorted linked list. So let's see, this is the sorted linked list and we want to remove the duplicate elements from this sorted linked list. So let's check what are the duplicate elements. So A is not duplicate, B is not duplicate, C is duplicate. So we have to remove one of the node and D is also duplicate so we have to remove one of the nodes. So in this case these are the two nodes which we have to remove to remove the duplicates. So let's see how to do this by using this code. So now the name of the function is delete duplicates and we have passed the head of the linked list as a parameter. So the first pointer, pointer P, will point to the head of the linked list. And we are just declaring Q. I will tell you further in this code the purpose of Q. Now, let's go in this while loop. While P is not equal to null and P points next is not equal to null. So see, these are two particular cases. Means, if the linked list given to you is null. This is the first case. And the second case is there is only one node in the linked list. See, if there is only one node in the linked list, then there is no question of duplicates. And if the linked list is null, obviously there will be no duplicates. So in these two cases, we will come out of this while loop. Okay. So these are the breaking conditions of this while loop. So let's see. While P is not equal to null and P points next is not equal to null. So in this case P is not equal to null and P points next is also not null. So let's go inside. See. If P points data is equal to equal to P points next points data means if the data of P is equal to the data of next node of P. So see this is P and this is the next node of P. So if these two consecutive datas are equal means if these two consecutive nodes have the same data then that means it is a duplicate. Remember this is a sorted linked list. So if there will be duplicates then they will always be consecutive. So we are checking for consecutive nodes to be same or not. Whether the nodes are same or not which are consecutive. So let's see. So in this case they are not same. So we will not go inside this if. We will come out and we will go to this line. So we will move forward by this line that is P is equal to P points next. So let's move forward. So P went ahead. Now check in this while loop again come here check P is not null and P points next is also not null. So check if condition whether the data of P is equal to the data of next node of P. This is P and this is the next node of P. So data is equal? No. So we move P ahead. So P moves ahead. Now in this while loop again this condition is satisfied. Go inside. Now data is equal to the next node's data. Is this current node's data is equal to the next node's data? Yes. C is equal to C. This means we have to delete either one of these nodes. And we have decided to delete the second node. That is duplicate here. Okay. So how to delete that node? See, if we remove this node and if we remove this link, then we lose the address of D. Because this node holds the address of the next node that is D. So we have to store the address of D. This address we need to store. Okay. 
and then we can remove this node. So for storing the address of this node, this is the line Q is equal to P points next points next. So P is here. So P points next is this node. So I will write it here P points next points next that is D. Okay. So we have stored the address of D in Q. So Q will store the address of D. And now as we have stored the address of D, now we can remove this link and we can join this link to D. In this way, we have removed the link from this node. Means now this node is not in this link list because this link has been removed and this link has been reattached to the node which is next to the removed node that is D. Okay, here is that line P points next equal to Q. P points next equal to Q. This is the way we have reattached the link. Yes. And then again the regular line P is equal to P points next. So P will jump to the next node and now the next node is D. Okay. Now again in this while loop this condition is satisfied. So go inside check whether the current node's data is equal to the next node's data. Yes D is equal to D. Again the same procedure. So Q will store the address of the next node of the duplicate node. So Q will store the address of E. After Q stores the address of E, we can remove this link and we can reattach the link to Q. In this way, this node is removed from the link list. Again, P is equal to P points next. So now P will jump to the next node. So P will come here. Now in the while loop here you can see P is not equal to null and P points next not equal to null. But here P points next is equal to null. Okay. So this condition is not satisfied and we come out of the while loop. We come out. This condition is not satisfied in that case. So when we come out of the while loop, this means that this link list is over. Okay, so this is the way we find out the duplicates and we remove the duplicates from the sorted link list. If you want to delete the duplicates, then you can use the function free and you can free the memory of the duplicated node. So this is the way we delete and free the memory of that duplicated node. Hey friends. Please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.